So if I click on this update progress button, then you can see this progress bar starts filling up. And today we are going to create this beginner level functionality. Welcome to the eighth video of real world JavaScript series. So here we are going to use document dot add event listener and event is going to be of type DOM content loaded. And then we will grab the elements by using document dot get element by ID. The first element is this progress bar. Now let's take a look on our HTML part. We have this progress bar and here we have the ID as progress bar and we are assigning the role as progress bar. And after that we have this style attribute where we are providing some styling that is width zero and these are the important attributes area value now so we are keeping it as zero initially and minimum it should be zero maximum 100 and then here we have this button which is helping us to update the progress bar and here we will grab another element that is update button and after that we will take one variable that is progress variable we are keeping it initially as zero then on the update button we are applying another event listener that is going to be of type click so if progress is less than 100 in that case only it will increase the width by 10 percent and that is the logic we are going to apply now okay so first we are adding 10 to this progress and after that we are updating the style attribute of the progress bar so we are updating it as percentage wise so it is going to be like 10 percent increment so here we are setting the value for this area value now so that is we are setting it to progress suppose it is initially 10 and then we are clicking the button so in that case it will be 20 percent and this way it is updating the progress bar and now it is the time to take a look on the ui if you want to get this code then github repository link is present inside the description of this video also there is a request please like this video and sharing is mandatory and now let's take a look on the ui 